If you haven't started yet in home composting, then autumn is the perfect time to get going. One reason it's cooling down and it's one of the nicest times of the year to get out into the garden for some gentle exercise. You'll also notice the deciduous trees are starting to shed their leaves. Now lots of folks curse this moment when the leaves are all over the lawn, but in fact it's the ideal time to use that material as fodder for a composting system. You can gather the leaves up and place them into either a wire or plastic leaf frame. The leaves will break up over six months and create a wonderful leaf mould. But I'd suggest that you invest in one of these aero bins. I've got one at home and I reckon they're absolutely terrific. Now you can bung your dead leaves into there. Also kitchen scraps, you know, peelings and shells from fruit and all that sort of gear. As well, you can cut up small bits of dead plant material, flowers, branches, whatever. Chop them up into small pieces so they break down quickly and uh, they are excellent fodder for your machine. In fact, anything that has ever lived can be brought back to life again through composting. This includes eggshells, newspaper, either torn or shredded, hair from brushes, vacuum cleaner dust and torn pieces of cardboard. Now look, the idea is you bung it in there and fill it up to the top if you can. This device in the centre is called a lump and as the compost breaks down it gets pushed out sideways and it leaves this hole right through the middle of the bin. That allows oxygen in and that's what fuels the microbes that turn waste into beautiful humus. Within months you'll be harvesting this wonderful rich... Thelma's well, been having a lovely time around in here chasing up the, the, uh, the worms etc. But this stuff is absolute magic for building up soil. It doesn't matter whether you've got sandy soil, loam or clay. This is gold. Don't be afraid to fill up the bin initially because the bigger the volume, the faster the things are going to get going. Within a few days, your levels will start to drop and you can feed your machine again. From an environmental perspective, any organic matter that you can rescue from landfill is a win for our planet, as these materials can then become toxic in that environment.